A new star citizen alpha 3.19.1 patch hit the PTU tonight and it comes with a few new additions and a lot of bug fixes. Before we get into it, I'd like to give a shout out to our newest channel members and they are Subject17, Novel Pilot, Metaphysical Bravo, AVA Django, and Evan Neal. Thank you guys for being a member of the channel. My apologies for my absence for the past few days as I was sick, but now we're back. Let's go straight into this. This PTU patch is for all backers and the testing focus is general stability bug fixes. Under feature updates in the gameplay category, they've added the Mirai Fury and the Fury MX and the Drake Corsair to, to free flight, racing and pirate and Van Duel Swarm modes in Arena Commander. Under Core Tech, they've updated the Toby SDK to 7.4.2.17 should fix a conflicts with OBS WebSocket port 4455 shown as a bad actor when using the Toby. Under bug fixes, the Reclaimer main on elevator control panel do not respond has been fixed. Interaction is not working after using the star map, using the inner thought. When requesting docking permission, the assigned docking collar HUD element does not appear. So that's with the uh, ship to station docking. Before we move forward, I'd like to new people to know that we're doing a giveaway for the month of May. This time is a game package for the 100i. In order to participate, all you got to do is leave a comment in any video and be subscribed to the channel. Let's move on. Ship impound when calling ATC multiple times. That's been fixed. Leaving and returning to salvage mission resets the progress. That's been fixed. Deposit shatter at optimal range cause damage to the player's ship. That's been fixed. Players unable to call elevators from the rest stop refinery. That's been fixed. The players unable to see or use inner thought text prompt on certain spawn items. That's been fixed. Press interaction keybind while Moby glass opening animation is playing breaks the mouse control. That's been fixed. Gravelet vehicles have permanently unlocked four items without notification or ability to toggle. So that's been fixed. In the walkway in the security port B on the gene point, there is no atmosphere and players suffocate without a helmet. That's been fixed. Getting close to a certain spot in Everest Harbor with a Drake Corsair causes performance to drop drastically. That's been fixed. Missing terrain at cave entrance near Lorville. It's been fixed. Missing players does not appear at the wreck site. That's been fixed. Terminals become unusable for other players after player disconnects while interacting with them. So that's been fixed. Munker man turrets gun can be detached using the tractor beam and attached to your ship. Whoa, that's crazy. And the Gatling has infinite ballistic ammo. Whoa, that is crazy. 19,000 error on character retrieval readiness during launch. That's been fixed. Combat assistant mission will not progress after enemy ship has been destroyed. Has been fixed. If multiple nodes attempt to shatter at once, server can stall for multiple seconds. Text for requesting to take off stays as request landing. That's been fixed. Mining UI appearing in low resolution. Interaction prompt for all mining turrets are easy to miss in unintuitive location for players. If the player attempts to get into the policy and opens the inventory in quick succession, they will lose most functionality. Cannot equip looted items after restarting game session. So that's been progress bar flickers when multiple player salvage. That's been fixed. Under technical, they have six client crashes and seven server crash fixes. You guys already know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.